Chili and actor Matthew Lawrence are Hollywood's cutest new couple, and we're happy our girl has finally found someone that she connects with. But there are a few red flags in his history that makes us a little worried, and we're going to discuss them today. If you can't stand it when we dig into other people's business, or if you lose your mind whenever we say hot, stinking mess, or if you hate it when we sing in our videos, then baby, 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 <laughs> go on and see yourself out. But for the rest of y'all, have a seat, get comfortable, and bust open a bag of your favorite goodies from rrgsnacks.com, our online concession stand that has an assortment of beef and bacon jerky, strawberry cheesecake popcorn, and butter toffee peanuts. Now let's take a brief trip down memory lane. After welcoming her son Tron with producer Dallas Alston, Dallas and Chili decided to go their separate ways. Eventually, Chili sat down and wrote a list of requirements she wanted in a partner. She spent the next few years chasing waterfalls and jumping in and out of relationships. You can find out more about her dating history in our previous video, which we've linked for you in the description box. By 2010, she was still single and looking for her perfect match, so she signed on to appear on the reality show What Chili Wants, alongside matchmaker Tiana Smalls. By that point, Chili's list of requirements filled up an entire page. She wanted someone who believed in the Lord, someone that didn't drink, smoke, or eat pork. She didn't want to date someone that had children with more than two women. He had to look good with at least a four-pack, and he had to have a huge joystick. At the end of her dating show, she chose a guy named Bill. However, their romance was short-lived. So Chili moved on. She kept her desire of becoming a wife while navigating through the murky waters of the dating world. While all that was going on, Matthew was focusing on his acting career and dealing with his own relationship struggles. He got engaged to actress Heidi Muller, but things ended between them sometime around 2006. Heidi went on to marry former NFL player DeMarco Murray. The same year Matthew and Heidi split up, Matthew met Dancing with the Stars professional dancer Cheryl Burke when his brother Joey was a contestant on the show. Matthew and Cheryl started dating in February 2007, and things were great at first. Cheryl later revealed that being with Matthew was the first time in her life that she had dated a man that wasn't abusive. However, she didn't love herself enough to realize that she deserved to be with a guy as nice as Matthew. She told People Magazine they were both young and immature, so they decided to break things off after a year of dating. She later stated that the end of their relationship was one of the biggest regrets of her life. In 2017, which was nine years after their breakup, they reconnected. This time, things were different. Well, that's what Cheryl thought at first. She told People Magazine they were older, more mature, and more balanced. She was enjoying their time together and said it was nice to, quote, come home to him and turn Netflix on and order Postmates. She also stated that he was someone she could see herself spending the rest of her life with. They got engaged in May 2018. As for the engagement ring, well, it contained the same diamond that Cheryl's late father gave to her mother. According to People magazine, Matthew, with the help of his mom, Cheryl's mom, and a jewelry company, had the stone reset and added more diamonds. Now, we love us a beautiful heirloom ring due to the significance and memories tied to an inherited piece of jewelry. However, one online website said it best. While your bride may love and treasure the ring, that doesn't mean she doesn't want a ring of her own that represents her own relationship. Cheryl wasn't complaining, though. They moved forward with their wedding plans and became husband and wife in May 2019. They settled into married life in Cheryl's Los Angeles home. Not only did Cheryl have to share her space with her new husband, but she had to make room for his weird obsession. During an appearance on The Kelly Clarkson Show, Cheryl revealed that Matthew had been raising reptiles for 25 years, and he owned about 40 to 50 of them. 40 to 50? Including iguanas that looked like alligators. And get this, Cheryl said all of the animals lived underneath her home. So what's up with his love for creepy crawlers? Well, while chatting on Cheryl's podcast, Matthew said he was born to love reptiles and amphibians, and it's a passion he just can't explain. 
He added, my earliest memories are the feelings of a lizard or a salamander squirming through my hands. He added that while growing up, he put his focus on maintaining relationships with animals rather than with people because animals gave him real respect and true love. The gang of reptiles was far from the issue in their relationship. On an episode of Tamron Hall, Cheryl said they attended couples therapy. She didn't elaborate on what issues they were working through. Although they made plans to start a family, they put things on hold during the pandemic. Cheryl told Us Weekly, I think it's healthier. I don't know if being pregnant right now would be ideal for me. So instead, in honor of their one-year wedding anniversary, Matthew surprised Cheryl with a new puppy named Isabella. Cheryl was over the moon and in love with the dog. According to Cheryl, Matthew stopped giving her his meat pipe in 2021. And in February 2022, she filed for divorce after three years of marriage. Now, remember when we mentioned they were living in Cheryl's home? Well, eventually, Matthew had to move out. And according to court documents, he moved in with his 72-year-old mom and his younger brother, Andy. Now, we're not going to sit here and call Matthew a scrub or a hobo sexual. We know that he's very close to his family, which might explain why he moved in with his mama and them. But court documents also show that by the halfway point of 2022, Matthew's income was only $13,000. He, his mom, and his brother pitched in to take care of the bills, which included the $5,200 monthly mortgage payment. In court docs, Matthew listed his monthly expenses as $1,000 for eating out, $400 for groceries, and about $100 for clothing. Thankfully, Matthew didn't contest the prenup, and he agreed that neither of them should receive spousal support. However, he did ask Cheryl to cover his legal fees. Now, while all this was going on, Matthew met Chili at an event he was a part of. After the event, there was a big snowstorm. Matthew headed to the airport and had to get his flight switched around. The only flight available was one that was connecting through Atlanta, where Chili lives. And Chili just happened to be on that flight as well. They chatted on the plane and decided to keep in touch. When Matthew got off the flight, he immediately called his brother Andy and told him, you're not gonna believe it. I met like the most wonderful person. He and Chili developed a long distance friendship and talked on the phone for about five to six months. They discovered that they have a lot in common, including similar upbringings. He told Entertainment Tonight, there are similarities that you wouldn't necessarily think between us and it really works. Cheryl and Matthew's divorce was finalized in September 2022. According to court documents, Matthew walked away with his residuals and music royalties. He was also responsible for paying his own American Express bill. Cheryl kept all of her bank accounts, her Los Angeles home, and her residuals from Dancing with the Stars and other TV appearances. Both parties agreed to pay their own legal fees. Though their divorce was finalized, they still had one matter to hash out, custody of Isabella. You know, the dog Matthew gave Cheryl on their one-year wedding anniversary. Matthew had a gang of reptiles to take care of, so why was he so hell-bent on getting custody of the dog as well? Well, Cheryl said Matthew was just being cruel and unfair. She added, She's my dog, and I hope that this soon dies down and he calls it off, because you're taking, like, my daughter away from me. Cheryl was eventually awarded full custody of Isabella. Cheryl has continued to spill a bunch of tea following their breakup. For example, in August 2022, she spoke about a past lover's alleged infidelity on her TikTok account. The text on the video reads, when he said he would never talk to her again, yet I found text messages, Viagra, and a necklace hidden in a pair of his shoes. Cheryl also dropped a major bomb when she announced during an episode of her podcast that she had never experienced the big O during intimacy. And yeah, that includes with Matthew. She made sure to add, this doesn't reflect on any partner I've been with. It only reflects on me. In the fall of 2022, Matthew and Chili became an item and made things Instagram official. They met each other's families, and Matthew met Chili's son. Matthew also spent Thanksgiving and Christmas with Chili's family in Atlanta. A rep who has been working for Chili since 2005 told People Magazine, Chili is very specific. She's a woman that knows what she wants. She's found the man of her dreams. Chili's rep confirmed she's in love and that she's never seen the singer this happy. 
In February 2023, Chili received Matthew's brother's seal of approval. Joey told People Magazine that not only was Chili cool as hell, but he also thought she was a great match for Matthew. Joey added, They're just having a great time, and it's just good to see him happy, and he makes her happy. Chili has always made it clear that she wants to get married, and although she and Matthew haven't publicly discussed their plans of tying the knot, 43-year-old Matthew told Entertainment Tonight that he's ready to shoot the club up and get 52-year-old Chili pregnant. Do you feel like that's in the cards for you in the near future? I hope. That's the game plan. Yeah. You know, that's what we're trying to do. Is Matthew just looking for a new place to live? Or do you think the relationship between him and Chili is the real deal? Let us know your thoughts down below. And thanks for watching RRG.